shit, you need that. Yeah, I desperately need that uh, health. Hey. Yeah, there's more than one. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the health items are pretty forgiving in this game. I, I vaguely Which remember Which is good, that. because they have to be for yeah, some well, of this. <laughs> this game does get kind of hard sometimes, eventually. Yeah. So, yeah. It has gotten hard. Don't be all eventually. It just, it's the, hard. It gets harder than this. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm aware. I, I remember seeing you play it the first time you played it, but... There we go. Hey! Way more interesting character design on the chief Des. If you can't yeah. see her, she's strapped to that pole. She's like the only female <laughs> in this. Um, I mean, that we well, can tell. Th there's the fish. No, no, no. I mean, amongst these tree chickens. Oh, yeah. And she doesn't well. quite look like them either. So maybe she's not the same thing as them. I have Again, to assume confusing. that they... Uh, like, I, I think they are the same. I don't know. Yeah, we also can't prove that none of the random villagers aren't <laughs> girls. It's hard to tell, but... Like, this, the, she's unique amongst her people. Yeah, and we can't prove that the Jughead villagers aren't all jug female. Or, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. What, what am I thinking? Jugpot. Okay, yeah. And this oh, is <laughs> this totally places. isn't a boss arena. <laughs> Did yeah, you see that? Yeah. Uh, oh, I, no way. You're going to throw a boss at me. I kind of want a game about Joker collecting boss babies in his weird little crystal magic or whatever that is. I think he gets given those by what's his name, but I, I don't know. I, and then I he don't tells know. you how to beat it. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, hey, I just like careful. the idea that it's this guy who controls all the monsters. Like, I don't know, just a Klonoa Pokemon. Although that's something I say of everything. Is that I want a yeah, monster Pokemon catching... Oh, yeah, geez. I want a monster catching and training game of every franchise. Because I just love video game monsters. Oh. Well, this So work, this is fairly explanatory. Yeah, this is... It's not too difficult to, to point out how you... Ah. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah, timing it's, yeah, to it. Yeah, you've still got to get it in. It's still, It's not you like know, you basketball. don't have to worry. It's just that... You don't have and to I that figure up. it out. Sometimes oh, extra messed up. Oh, geez. sometimes you'll have boss fights. Just in general, not just in this game, where it's like you got to figure out not just the boss's pattern, but what the fuck even you're looking at and what's even hittable. I mean, this guy, you kind of have to figure out what you're looking at, it, not what's hittable. Like it's. Uh, the oh yeah, yeah. Weird. Well, the timing's weird because you you have to get it straight in. You cannot, like, there's there's zero room for mistake here. Yeah. Because if you don't get it exactly in, yeah, it'll just bounce around than inside the shell. A little bit, yeah. There we go. Ooh. Oh. And he does speed up like that. Like yeah. I don't know if anybody else noticed it, but he did speed up pretty bad there. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. So when you hit him, he just reverses direction, so you need to not go in that direction. Yeah, well, he's also going to be doing this now. Yeah. It's not too hard to avoid. No, not really, but it's it's annoying. Oh, where the fuck are you going? He's, uh, you can see his shadow. Okay, yeah, this guy's got a lot of tells. It's not really a tell, that's just, like, he's got a shadow. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, he, they could have just not put a shadow there. I guess, but that would have been really mean. Yeah, this, this game is not always that mean. Ooh. Ooh. Down to half a heart. Yeah, it's because you bumped him. Be mad. Yes, he is. Oh. Yeah. I think he's down to his equivalent of like half a heart too. Yep. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I jumped fast enough. Because <laughs> nah, that, that's a double jump in order okay. to get over the big ball. But this isn't going to be hard. You've got his speed down. Yeah, you know, I've got the pattern expect. down. It's fine. Oh, okay. I messed up. Hey, he does speed up at the end. I'm running for his sped up form. Jeez. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, this is yeah, going to hurt. Fuck. There we go. It's fine. I swear I can do this. It's it's fine. Yeah, you can. I, I think you can do this. <laughs> I know I can do this. I'm just kidding around. Yeah, you've done it in the past. You've yeah. beaten this game. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when Klonoa uh, originally came out, it was on the PS1. This yeah. is the Wii remake. I, mm -hmm. I think we've pointed that out already. Many times, I'm sure. Yeah, I think this game came out in uh, 1997, I want to say. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. Sometime in the PlayStation days. Yeah, which, during the PS1 you know, era. It's in that time. 
Um, but yeah, no, so it, it did totally come out during the PS1 era. And it's... Oh, can I not? No, he was on it. Uh, well, I was wondering was if right he was there. just slightly off-center enough. But no, clearly no. he wasn't. There we go. I can get this one, though. Whoa. Ooh, oh, Aww. but it's not close enough. It's yeah. okay. The He'll trick is you, you basically have to pause for just long enough that he wants to to land there and then get it to work. And it Yeah, you're too kinda, far yeah, away. Yeah, I'm way too far away. So I'm gonna have to just bait him into falling here. Oh no, he's gonna yeah, fall. Yeah, you're right baiting on the him thing. into falling in the I, worst I, it's, places. It's hard because it's hard to bait him. Yeah, it he's is. a big plant. Yeah, he doesn't. Plants don't you get don't baited even, good. Yeah, like he doesn't even have a penis. It, okay, shush. Oh, and you, I keep I thought reversing you were leading the up wrong to that place. joke. I'm no, sorry. No, jeez, grosso. What's wrong with you? I, I thought that's what you were doing. You kept saying bait. Yeah, you can bait people and things. Yes, you can, but I thought that was the joke. No, what you, what's wrong with you? I'm just assuming you're making, like, jokes that you're not, I guess. That's what's wrong with me. You keep trying to get him there. That's just going to ruin both of those. No, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. Gosh darn it. He's bigger than his shadow is. Yes, he is. Because the shadow is very sloppily yeah, done. It's just a yeah, circle. Yeah. One right here. There, uh, it might be close enough. Ooh, nope. Not quite. God. You didn't have this problem the first I time. I know I didn't. <laughs> okay, let's just do it this way. There. I mean, you still got hurt. <laughs> it, I still got hurt, but I did finally knock him out of that phase. Yeah, now he's red. Yeah, now he's red, so now he's going to be fast, but he's only going to be fast. It's the next one where he makes the ball that takes a double jump yeah. to get over. And then after that, I'm guessing he's going to probably do a red version of the shadow. And then after that, he's going to die. Yeah, well... Assuming That'll he doesn't die before he has a chance to do the shadow thing. Yeah, the the bar here is not very clear. Yeah, it's not a very clear bar. Yeah, that might just be one more hit. I can't tell. Oh, that's going to be too close. Yep. That thing's big. There you go. Whoop. We'll see. Now what? Come on. Ah. Oh. oh, I messed up. It's okay. Is he gonna He's, do another ball? I don't remember. Oh, I messed up again. Yeah, don't worry. Ah. Uh, Let's see. Gonna make another pass? Yeah, he's probably gonna try again, and then... No, uh, what is up with my timing? It's so I don't wrong know. today. I don't know, but you're almost done. You're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. You're, oh, you're gonna do it. You, you notice what I say when, like, it's 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 bouncing off of the inside of his shell, like... There, there you go. go. He dead. Yeah, he's dead. So, Fuck anyway, you, to go back to that conversation man. where we had, like, the, um... There was a time when Namco Bandai was talking about they wanted to change what Klonoa looked like, and this was significantly after the second game had come out. This yeah. was when they were doing the port for the Wii. The second game was on PS2 for reference mm -hmm. of time, and I don't want to say it was a launch game for PS2, but it was very, very close, I think, to that window. Okay. Um, so it, it was years. I think it had been about 10 years or something close to. Mm -hmm. Um, and the Wii came out and, and then they were like, okay, we're going to do a port for it. And they suggested this on like a bunch of communities where I guess people still cared or they thought people would care. Yeah. Because Klonoa does not have like a huge thriving community to but my But you know it's going to have someone. It probably has some small community, sure. Yeah, like there's always going to be people who are really into obscure games, if only because they're obscure. But they talked about it and I think it wound up on games journalist sites or something like that where they were like showing off because Bandai Namco had given them early art of it and they're like, oh, here's new Klonoa. And people disliked it so much that there wound up being like a big petition made. Mm -hmm. And I think it got something like 10,000 signatures. Which for a game that's like this low key, like this this remake probably didn't sell that well. No, 10, I, I don't even think enough. it sold 10,000 to be completely it, that, honest That was with enough you. people. It was enough people, sure. I mean, the fandom for Klonoa is probably only that much worldwide. 
Yeah, so they wound up deciding, okay, we're not going to change Klonoa. But it was really obvious in retrospect when, when you look at it, like with mm-hmm. the way that they're changing him, and they're like, oh, man, oh, we're going to... Look at him. He's <laughs> using one of those things as his, his uh, flying device. He totally just controls the monsters. I love I that. I think he suggests things to them. I don't think he controls them because he had to yell at some of them earlier because they ran off, remember? Well, that just that doesn't mean that he's like controlling them like with a controller. That means that he's the boss of them. <clears throat> I guess. Potentially he's the one who also feeds them or whatever. You know, he takes care of these guys. I well, think you're that's the cool. one who feeds them because they eat you. Sure. Anyways, what were you saying? Um <laughs> I always got the feeling, like, looking back on that, that maybe what they were trying to do was was breathe life back into the series. Like, maybe they were hoping with this port, if they could fix it up and make it look better and do all this other Which stuff. they didn't do that much. They didn't do much of, yeah. Yeah, like, for a Wii game, but, this game is not, like, taking advantage of its graphics. Like, I've said that a bunch like of times. Like, maybe if they could redesign Clonoa, I guess their hope was that they could breathe new life into the franchise and try and build it up as, like, a character franchise, because look at Clonoa. He could be a character franchise. Yeah, he he should be, honestly. Yeah, but it's one of those things where it's like, you're not going to compete with Sonic. You're not going to compete with no, Mario. No, you can like... compete with Sonic. <laughs> Sonic's, Sonic's well, not, not been not that at the big time. for a like, long come time. On. It, it, it was Wii era. Come on, let's go. But so, it's like, yeah, mm-hmm. it, people wound up signing the petition. I think I've already said that. And they wound up changing it back. And the games did not sell very well. Yeah, anyway. this game so did it's not like, do that great. I, I really don't know what they were expecting from this game, to be completely honest yeah, with you. Yeah, this, this is a very there. bare bones port. Like, I haven't played the original, but it's like much this. my imagining <laughs> of like how it looked then compared to how it looks now, they were probably just... Like, like, there's no bonus levels or anything. There's no extra plot, right? It just uh, is what it was. Not that I can remember, yeah. Can you not just get them? Oh, you got to hit him from above, huh? Yeah, because those guys are different. They're just like the boss you just fought. Almost mm. like, exactly. Like, their colors and stuff, too. Because mm. I got to get up there. Yeah, but there's there's going to be other stuff. There's clearly another level. Yeah. 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 Um, this this should be its own franchise that's bigger than this, but they can't just expect that they'll just put out a bare-bones port that just shows all the same stuff we've seen before, or, or that people who had this game as a kid have seen before, not me. Um, oh, you got the thing. But, like, they, they can't just give you an exact port with just, like, slightly updated graphics and say, okay, everyone's gonna go nuts for it because they all love Klonoa so much. It's like, no, no, you gotta actually do more. And, and they didn't. It's like, come on, at least give us, like, an extra plot. Or, like, maybe maybe if they had remade this and the second game and made them, like, one edition. Yeah, you know what? That would have been nice. Yeah, I would have loved to have gotten the Wii could have used like that. that. Like, like, the Wii discs can fit that much game. That's not so hard. Well, you, you would assume. We don't actually know how much a, a Wii disc is or... Yeah, but, like, dude, this like game, we know fairness. how big this game is. There's no way it's taking up all the storage they could have potentially used. They could have probably done this and the second game and had, like bonus bosses or something as like just an extra thing but no nah. they, they just sort of ported it as is not that it's bad it's just like I don't know I have higher standards than this the Wii was able to hold like Twilight Princess or what's another really big Wii game I mean the GameCube was able to hold oh, Twilight Princess, Princess. Isn't that big, you know? The area, the, the world is big and the textures are complex. I'm not saying it's it's like the grandest game imaginable, although <laughs> I like it. Like the the games. I've never beaten it. The, the setting is big. We used to have Twilight Princess. I think it's lost. It was lost in the move from Hawaii. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. we, we lost it moving from here like, to Hawaii. The, the Wii could have done so much more than this, is all I'm saying. And they didn't do it, but they expected it to be a big deal without actually putting a big deal of effort into it. It's like, that's that's not good. Yeah, I will agree with that. They they clearly did not put enough effort into the, the port for this game because the it's very very similar it's not exactly the same there are some things that are different but it's very very similar uh honestly i can't even explain what the differences are though because it's been so long i'm not sure what the actual differences are 
Oh, I hate these guys because they're they're uh, metals. Yeah, you can't just hit them. Literally. To be yeah. fair, it's not like Klonoa's got a gun or something. So, it, like, it makes sense that he can't mm. hit a lot of things. Oh, yeah, you yeah, can't I just... so. Yeah. I noticed there was a thing down there, so it kind of made sense for you to be able to at least Oh, do you have to get it like past that. the fan blades. It was easy. Yeah. Is that... It's, oh, uh... that was three lives. Yep. That's cool. That's, I didn't know those yep, existed. Yep, 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 yep. You can get the silver ones, which are worth one, and then the uh, gold ones, which are worth three. Which is a good way to do it. It's an interesting yeah. idea. Yeah. Plus, this, look at this, this enemy just... when he's all puffed up. Yeah, he's kind of smiling. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're always smiling. Yeah, but he's like he's cool with being puffed up. He's okay with being inflated. <laughs> Gross. Man, that's what this game is. Uh, let's go oh, back ghosts. out. Actually, is it, can I go? No, no you can't go no, any farther. That... Yeah. It, it looks it like there's an area you. there. Yeah, it tilts you sideways though. Oh, those become solid when you run. Yes, they do. Oh, what is that? It's got a it's got a dragon ball. It's like a little mage sitting on a dragon ball who has fox fire for some weird reason. Yeah, I like him. I like all of these. I might wind up drawing a bunch of these for Popkus. <laughs> I love it. Well, you did Kirby, so I I guess yeah. Popkus is like, like a like, natural progression. I like it when monsters are these little round blobs that are kind of easy to draw but all have a lot of personality that makes them different. Yeah, and this is I can that see is that. this straight up. Oh. What is that? Uh, that's a guy in the background. Is that a hat that he's wearing? Uh, he's wearing something like a... It's either a hat or like a, he's dead a now. soldier's thing. I couldn't Fuck him, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, no, these are cute. I love all of these. Where are we anyways? Why are uh, we in, in a graveyard? graveyard? <laughs> why though? Uh, why not? Um, because we talked over the entire last cutscene and I don't know what we're doing here. We are back in your hometown. Oh, wait, we're in Hawaii? No, no, like, we're back in Klonoa's hometown. Oh, that's a good way for a, a collapsing uh, platform to work. It just spins because it's on a rope. Because, Like, I like that visually. Yeah, it looks It's on a rope, good. so it makes sense for it to spin when a pressure's applied to it. And then it goes back to being there. Like, like that's that's cute. I like that. I, I want to say it's like, oh man, there's little touches in this game that are really nice, and it's like, well, the graphics are really kind of <laughs> bare-boned for this generation. I bet for the, the PS1, if these things worked this way, that was probably really impressive then. Like, uh, a lot of the, these level designs look like they would have been impressive to, like 15 years prior. The idea behind the levels, I think, is, is almost exactly the same, but the graphics were low-poly at the time. Yeah. Which, Which would have been can be gorgeous better. anyway, like, let's be completely yeah. honest. And, um, honestly, like, a lot of games that are... Mm -hmm. What's the opposite of low poly? Would you, would you consider this high poly? Is that a high word? Def? Uh, I don't know if this is high high definition or anything No, like no, that, no, like, the opposite of low poly. No, not I, the definition. I know what you mean. But still, like, the, the games like this that are, like, Wii era... Like, a lot of them just don't seem to have style to them. And the the low-poly games of, like, the N64 and stuff kind of were forced to have a style by virtue of being low-poly. Like, it just kind of forces it to be stylistic. Uh, it's the so-called retro game issue, where games nowadays will put almost zero effort into their sprites, or they'll try and do something that they think is retro, uh, especially indie games, but then you wind up with things that actually look like they belong on Atari. Where, well, like, Atari style is still valid in its own weird, boring way. Yeah, but if you're not actually working towards that style, if you're trying to say it's the NES, but you're not working to, like, the conditions of the NES, and you're not working to, you know, what it is, and you're not actually trying to do the limit of what the NES can do, then you're not really working to the standards of the NES. Yeah. I've lost track of what we started talking about initially. That's fine.